I'm in is a two-year program where it's really intense. You go through a master's program, you go through training all the time. You're doing covering real-world business problems. Uh, for me, in the two years that I've been there, uh, I've gone through training for ANSYS, training for uh, teardown of big BOPs, <coughs> base four connectors. So the big stuff that you see, or you see small models down here. I mean, they're they're much larger out there. And, that GE's invested a lot in me to understand the ins and outs, what problems could happen, what service, it, what service actually goes through when they're doing their uh, yearly maintenance, or if something goes wrong, what they have to do. Uh, people hanging off the rig of seeing how they actually go through it. There's two other people that are in my program that are actually offshore right now, and they're, they're experiencing service firsthand. Uh, they've had to go through the training in order to be safe on the rig and they're seeing exactly what people go through day to day in order to ma maintain and keep and service uh, the products that we design. Because, I mean, really, I mean, the mechanical engineers out here, designing is, is great, and that's really what, that's what I had a passion for when I first came in. But more and more I learned that it's not just designing a product that works great, it's also designing a product that people can service easily, people can understand what's going on, I mean, there's, there's a lot more to it that, that I've learned throughout the two years that I don't think I would have learned if I just came in without a, with not in a leadership program or maybe through a different company. I, I would not have seen the, the first hand and second hand and the services as well as the maintenance side in the manufacturing.